Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So you'll see here in front of me, it's another Visconti box. Nothing really on the outside other than the standard uh, Visconti yellow. The big Visconti logo here and then obviously the words Visconti repeated all over the box. So this is a, a pen that is very special to me and very true to my heart. And uh, I'll tell you why in a bit. But uh, let, let's uh, see if we can unbox this. So here you have a sanded Visconti clamshell box. It's a slimline box, so there's no draw inside. But it's a stunning, stunning limited edition pen. And it's one that I really, really love for a number of reasons, and I'll go into that in a little bit. So let's open the box up and let's see what's inside. So we have, we'll deal with the identity card in a bit. We have the standard sort of Visconti brochure. And it's really, uh, it's just a thin brochure, and it really just goes over the um, uh, details of... Uh, the Visconti Villa and how they make the pens. Uh, I've shown this in other videos before. It shows various uh, heads of state writing with the pens and also uh, actors and actresses and some of the range of pens that you have uh, of Visconti fountain pens. So uh, you have the like the, the Maya, the Christian Bible, the Istos Arachnus here. So, and then you come to back to the like standard range of pens, which are the Rembrandts, the Venus, the Michelangelo's, the Homo Sapiens, the ones that tend to typically actually not be limited edition. So, we have that here, and then we have a identity card, and this identity card says it's the Wall Street Silver Pearl, and this is a fountain pen, twenty-three carat palladium nib celluloid it's a ag925 silver material and this is number 1397 of 4000 now 4000 is quite a large uh, limited edition run uh, you typically see a lot less from visconti uh, normally under a thousand and sometimes even under a hundred this is a lovely lovely pen you can see here this is the Wall Street and for me so there's a number of reasons why let me try and zoom in a little bit more so you can see this in all its glory a number of reasons why this is special to me I guess the first reason is it's a stacked celluloid and it's the pearl or the grey uh, or the platinum edition as sometimes it's called and you can see here how that reflects the light it is a stunning stunning material and it's something that i do love and i have a lot a number of these i i, guess I was gonna say a lot but i I, guess I do have a lot of these now i do like the stacked celluloid it really does appeal to me so that's one of the reasons why this is good um and and why it's special in my collection the the other reason is this was a gift and it was a gift from a very special person my girlfriend and i absolutely love this pen and i love that she surprised me with this and it is for me a stunning pen this again to me is uh another reason why it is special to me because it was a, a present for me so i really really do like this pen i think let's zoom in a little bit to the cap and you'll see here it has the Standard Visconti clip, uh, spring-loaded. It has the standard Visconti uh, My Pen finial. The cap tapers down towards the the tip, and it gets wider here towards the centre. You have a cap band here, which just says Wall Street, and then here you should be able to see. It gives you the LE number, which is 1397 of 4000. And you can see here the, that stacked celluloid is just amazing how it reflects the light. It is really, really lovely. Now, there's a little bit of a, a divot here, and I'll show you that in a bit. And then it flares out again um, and then tapers back in down to this ring and then to the end cap. Now this is a Powervac filler. Uh, 
so that's a power vac knob and then uh, at the end of the pen you'll see here it sort of goes to a, a very uh, small point and I actually do like that I I do like I don't know why but I do like to actually touch that point sometimes crazy I know I um, initially thought I wouldn't like this bit here because it doesn't look as though it matches up and the 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 pen and and the barrel is actually faceted as you can see here it goes from a facet here to a rounded part here and that to me always looked a little bit odd but um since i've had this pen it's not bothered me uh, in one bit so let me um unscrew this and you'll see uh and the, the i guess the other reason why this is a special pen is because I got it in a 1.3 millimeter stub. Now this was the first 1.3 millimeter stub, technically, that I had in my collection, although I hadn't actually um, quite received it. I my first 1.3 stub was the Crimson Tide. So I I guess technically this was my second stub, but I absolutely love this stub. And uh, it's because it is juicy wet, and I really do like it. It writes very well. It's flawless in how it writes, and it is a stunning, stunning nib. Now I actually have a little bit of a drier ink in here. I have uh, it's inked up with diamond chocolate brown, and you can see a little bit of nib creep there on the nib. And then you can see the section here, and then you have the ink window for the double reservoir which you can lock off to um, allow you to fly and not have the pen leak everywhere and then that's where you can see here just the um, rounded part where it goes from rounded to the facets I always thought that that looked a little bit ugly but um, trust me I really don't see it being a problem now that I actually have the pen. It's, I guess it's one of those things that you you kind of think, oh, I don't like the look of this. But when you get it, you actually realise, oh, it's actually quite nice in the end. So so uh, it, that doesn't bother me at all. And then I'll just sort of look at some of this material here, the stacked celluloid. You can just see how the light reflects off of that and how it comes to life. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, stacked celluloid or stacked coin celluloid. So this is a pen that I really, really do love. So let's see if we can do some uh, measurements on this. So the pen itself, uh, fully capped, we're looking at around about 149 millimeters. The cap is around about 66 millimeters in length. And then the nib here, from the tines to the end, we're looking around about 138 millimeters. The pen inked up, we're looking at just over 43 and a half grams. The cap itself, we're looking at just under 17 grams. And then the body inked up, we are looking at just over 25 grams. So it's not a bad weight pen. It's a pen that I do really, really like. So let's uh, do a comparison with some other pens. So left and right, we have the Visconti Istos Arachnus. We have the Visconti Belgica. We have the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Raden. We have the Visconti Speakeasy. We have the Visconti Wall Street Limited Edition, or LE. We have the uh, Visconti Opera Silverdust. The Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. The Classic Pens LB5. The Visconti Opera Master River Thames and the Visconti Metropolitan in the green stacked celluloid. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the 
Visconti, Wall Street, LE, and it is a 1.3 stub. Now, it is a palladium, 23 carat palladium nib, but it is lovely. Uh, lovely and wet. So this is uh, diamine inkwise. Um, chocolate. Brown. Now, because it's a stub, in terms of line variation, you're going to get wide downstrokes and narrower horizontals there. But in terms of standard, no pressure, and then you can apply more pressure, that actually almost goes to, I would say, double the um, line width here. So you can push this nib a little bit more, and you'll see here. Now, I wouldn't want to flex it any more than that. Uh, I have never sprung uh, any tines on a nib yet, and uh, I still don't envisage doing so because I won't push the nibs that hard. In terms of wetness, let's have a look at wetness. Now, brown inks tend to be quite um, dry. Same with red and orange inks. But as you can see here, this is quite a fire hose of a nib. Now, obviously, it's a stub nib, so it is putting down a wider um, range of ink uh, compared to, say, an extra fine or a fine or a medium. But this is a really, really wet pen, and I love it. Um, I love it for all of the reasons that I gave earlier, and and I love it because it's a stub nib. I love stub nibs, and I love wet nibs, and, and more so, I, I really, really like fire hose nibs. So, this for me is, I'd almost say, the perfect pen in, in every way. Um, it is brilliant. I love the stacked celluloid. I love how it writes. I love the stub nib. I love how wet it is. Um, for me, this pen ticks every single box. Now, you may have heard that Visconti overpolished their nibs or Bock overpolished their nibs and there can be issues with stub nibs hard starting. This pen never hard starts. It's a really, really lovely writing pen. To me, I, I would not change this pen at all. It is, for me, probably one of my favourite pens in my collection, not only because of the sentimental value to it, but because it writes so well. So this is a pen that pretty much I always have inked up, and if it's not with one ink, it's another ink. I tend to sort of change between Diamond Chocolate Brown and Diamond Merlot in this pen. So this is the review of the Visconti Wall Street LE. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye. <laughs>